we have only three seasons in India. That is the summer. After the summer is a beautiful rain and then the winter season. If you look at the nature, you can understand what grows during that season. Then what I what Hippocrates said, let thy food be thy medicine. You can have that same food on those seasons and you are healthy, you don't fall sick at all. But now what happened is all the children are inside the concrete jungle. They hardly see the nature. Recently, uh, one of our students got married and her husband is a software engineer. And she was telling my husband when I took him out, he was telling, hey, hey, look at the sunset. Hey, hey, look at the sunrise. <laughs> then she was shocked as if something. They had never seen sunrise and sunset, neither the stars. Before the sun, when, when the sunrise is there, they're sleeping. And then they rush up to the office. And when the sunset, after the sunset, late night, they come to the house. Hence the diseases. 27th story from the Gateless Gate, from the book Zen Flesh, Zen Bones, written by Paul Drips. It is not mind. It is not Buddha. It is not things. Among us, nonsense. Is there a teaching no master ever preached before? Nansen said, yes, there is. What is it? Asked the monk. Nansen replied, it is not the mind. It is not the Buddha. It is not the things. Nansen replied, it is not the mind means it is not the family. And it is not the joint family. It is not the family tree. These three things cannot be taught. It is to be experienced. And it, you don't even use the term experience because it has become a way of life. You cannot even say it's a way of life because it is a part and parcel of your daily samskriti. These three. When you have these three, there is no diseases. When you have these three, there is no psychological problem. When you have these three, there is no poverty. When these three have been broken, the foreigners who invaded India and the rich who wanted to plunder you they found out the easiest method to make you a nobody is to break the family. And to break the family, thus industrial revolution started, dragged the children, the boys into the cities. With that, the boy, the boy kids were not back into the villages to till the land. Destruction, family was broken. Joint family is broken, family is broken. Go back to your family. The way you till the field, climb the tree, cut the coconuts, eat that fruit, you can find you always have a six pack, a beautiful body. And look at the kitchen, they grind, grind, grind. Where there is gastric problem and they hit boom, boom, boom. <laughs> the huge amount of sweat to make that beautiful food. And when they eat, where there is no digestion, it's only digestion. They, in fact, they do not know the word digestion, constipation. <laughs> it happens, digestion of it. So not one time, two times, three times, just flushes out. They jump into the pond, they create the pond, they run to the um, nearest to the river. Where is the river? Here. And you walk, it may be even seven kilometers, ten kilometers. For them, that is just a stone throw, throw away. Now that walking is not there. The roads are made so that you don't even walk up and down. There's up and down and jump and climb. <laughs> Jack and Jill went top the hill to fetch a pail of water. All that was lost. 